Here it is, I finally got my hands on the Fisker Ocean so you don't have to. To be honest, I think it's easy to see why Fisker's having some financial problems because the ocean is the perfect example of feature creep. I'll talk about that in the full video, but we got a lot of cool features that are expensive to develop, like the fact that all the glass except for the windshield opens, including these windows back here and even the solar moonroof, which is pretty cool. Then Fisker left out a lot of luxury features for a $70,000 car, no adjustable lumbar support, and the seat bottom cushion does not adjust for tilt. There's also no glove compartment, but there are funky tray tables so you can Taco Bell while you charge, and this touchscreen rotates so you can do portrait or landscape orientation. But hang on a minute, why do we need this tiny little LCD at the bottom, and why do we need air vents that have to be controlled on the screen? The Fisker Ocean is without a doubt a really cool EV with a lot of promise. Unfortunately, I think a lot of those promises are just going to go unfulfilled. Let me know what you think about that, and of course post your burning questions down there, because we're going to answer all of those in the full video that I'm filming tomorrow.